Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86, and today I'm taking a look at a chiclet keyboard, but let's jump into it. I have not looked at a chiclet keyboard in quite a while. This one is actually a combo that comes with a mouse that's really a little more than a stylish side piece. But if you don't already have a mouse, it's a nice added bonus, albeit a simple 1600 DPI office mouse with matching flair. Not everyone loves mechanical keyboards. I try to keep that in mind, but often fail to look at more of these. Chiclet keyboards are membrane, low-profile, quiet keyboards that are preferred by some for a multitude of reasons. They have a very generic laptop keyboard feel if you've ever used a laptop keyboard. If you've never heard someone type on a chiclet style keyboard or a laptop keyboard, this is what it sounds like right here. This one is the AX227 Combo by Sublute. I think that's how you say their name. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going with Sublute. The keyboard is the KG660, and it comes with an adapter for USB-C and a bonus mouse. This keyboard offers a very silent typing experience with satisfying depression to actuation bounce back on the scissor design membrane mechanism. It helps make the low profile keys feel stable and offers definite tactile response on use. The keyboard does have a limited amount of RGB modes as well as seven solid offerings and on and off. If you prefer the lights not to be on, you can turn them off pretty easily. Using function and arrow up or down, you can flip through the brightness modes. There's only three brightness modes and they're all pretty relatively close together as far as brightness goes. On the top right are the M1s, 2, and 3. And these allow you to swap between a rainbow wave, the solid color offerings, which are red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, pink, and white. And finally M3, which is a reactive wave on typing. So when you type a wave of a random color it picks will slide through. Next to the M1 on the left side is the quick LED off or on button if you wanted to turn those lights off or on and just above the back left foot is the location for the storage of the usb dongle and you can just slide it in there it uses a small magnet to help hold it firm into place so it doesn't fall out on the go some things to note are limited polling rates you're not going to get thousand hertz polling on this same with the mouse there's no ui software that you can go in and adjust anything or macro assign anything with this is a casual user's keyboard that will get the work done and have much left over for playtime mobile gamers with compatible devices will rejoice to know that they can set their display phone tablet in the nook the little slot at the top of the keyboard and the include Included adapter will allow them to plug and play easily with USB Type-C capable devices for mobile work and gaming. When it comes to gaming, great demand for chiclet style membrane keyboards is low outside of laptops compared to mechanical keyboards, and thus innovations by companies and the prolification of them, if you will, is a relatively low thing. But if it's your style, this is a decent entry option and it reminds me a lot of the MSI DS4100 and the Red Dragon K502. Guys, I hope this was somewhat helpful and useful to you. I'll see you guys in the next video. I do. You have a great day, night, whatever it is.